Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a German dragon figure that was released in 2003. This guy's name is Felix, and he is really cool. So let's get started. Here is the box. There's a picture of the figure. Uh, really cool artwork there. All right, World War II, Dieppe, 1942. This guy's a Craig's Marine Seaman. There's the inside of the box. Uh, down here, there's another picture of the figure. Looks really cool. All right, there's some of his equipment. As always, very nice box. But let's show you the figure now. Alright, guys, here he is. This is a very nice German dragon figure, and one I've been wanting for a little while now. And I got this one for like $42 off eBay, so it's a really good price considering that this one is a little hard to find. Uh, but I really like him, he's very cool. Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten a German dragon figure, so uh, very nice figure. Great addition to my collection. Alright, so let's take a look at his rifle here for starters. And let me uh, put this in his hands so you can see what he looks like holding it. Alright, so that's really cool. And he holds his, his rifle pretty well. I love uh, these particular hands that are sometimes included with the dragon figures. Uh, they grip the rifles really well. So I really like that. Okay, but here's a closer look at that. Very nice German rifle. Got the strap, and you can pull this back. It seems to be kind of stuck right now, uh, but you can pull that back. Um, and three uh, extra clips are included for the rifle. That's very cool. And also, the figure does have a knife on the back on his belt, and you can attach that onto his rifle. And that looks very nice as well. Alright. And another cool accessory that's included with the figure is this big uh, pack or bag. It's really cool. Uh, there's actually nothing inside of it, just some cardboard and some fake cloth stuff. Uh, but you can get some nice poses with this. You can sling it across his shoulder and that looks really cool. You can put his rifle on his other hand and yeah it looks really cool like that. Alright so cool accessory. Uh, but now let's show you his head sculpt with his hat or uh this is a Craig's Marine side cap, and it looks really nice on the figure. It fits very well. So there that is. And if you haven't noticed already, uh, the figure does come with a German helmet, which I've got attached to his belt as well. Let me take that off, and I'll put that on his head. Now this doesn't fit all too well. You really have to smash this down into his head to get it to fit better. So I'm not sure if he was really meant to wear this. I think he was meant to wear the side cap more. But you can put this on his head. and oh, That looks pretty cool too. It's just a, a plastic helmet. But still pretty nice. Alright.
All right, so there's the figure's head sculpt, and this head sculpt in particular is very nice. Uh, it looks really nice, I think. Really cool. Very nicely detailed. Yeah, I think Dragon did a good job with this one. All right. Next, let's take a look at his belt. Uh, front, got some more ammo pouches there. And you can probably put these extra clips inside of there. I haven't done that yet. Uh, but on the back, we have a canteen. And I've just got that attached to the leather belt here. And there's his sheath for his bayonet. Uh, but let me let me take this off actually. It's a little tricky. There we go. And this is just a leather material for the belt. Got nice buckles on there. I really like this figure's uh, jacket. It's called a pea jacket, and it looks really cool. Love the buttons up front. Got the insignia up front there. Uh, on the collar, there's some more uh, insignias or patches. That uh, looks very nice. Uh, the uniform is very similar. I think it's identical to uh, the other dragon figure named George, which I reviewed a long time ago, uh, who's also a Craig's Marine. So the uniform is, I think, identical, actually, except for maybe the collar. Uh, but really nice uniform, uh, really nice pants as well, and the boots are also very nice, good quality. <clears throat> uh, let me go ahead and take his jacket off though, because he does have a sweater underneath. Just let you have a look at that. Alright, so here's his turtleneck sweater, also very cool. And I believe that's everything to show with the figure. Uh, so overall, this is a good quality German dragon figure, one that I would definitely recommend getting. Uh, yeah, I really like him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll try to pick up another dragon figure soon, uh, so stay tuned for more reviews to come. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.